in the area. Think about the lightning delays. You get to practice your lie. That's right. So the... No way! Oh, wow. Have you ever wondered why Kevin Jones is so good at jump putting? I mean, there's a reason why they call him Jump Putt Jones, all right? Today we're gonna to teach you everything you need to know to be as consistent and maybe as good as Kevin Jones. All right, in order to practice our jump putting, we need a few things. We need, obviously, a practice basket, stack full of putters, and then jump putts have to be more than 10 meters away from the basket, all right? So we have to have an accurate measurement of that. Turns out that's a little bit less than 33 feet. Let's get it all measured out and try some jump putts. All right, guys, I got my 33 feet marker set up uh, just outside of that 10 meter circle. I got my stack of discs uh, right here next to me and we are ready to start jump putting. But before I can just start chucking it at the basket, we need to know what to do. The thing that makes Kevin Jones such a great, consistent, almost automatic jump putter from right outside the circle is a couple things. First off, his stance, all right? His stance is so wide, not you know, crazy ridiculous, but it is so much wider than most people's putts that it allows him to be super explosive when he goes to release the disc. Okay, secondly, to help with that explosion as he lunges forward, is he gets lower than anyone else in the game of disc golf. All right, obviously you've probably watched him and you see just how low he gets before he releases that disc. And the third thing is his follow through, all right? He, extends his arm um, that much farther, okay? And all these things, uh, getting wide, being explosive, extending your arm, all help you to release that disc, one, consistently, but two, as close to the basket as possible, all right? Right now I'm at 33 feet, but after I jump and explode forward, then I've probably gained about maybe three, possibly four feet, um, depending on how much of a jump you do. All right, so being closer obviously in disc golf results in better putting percentage. And so you wanna be as close as possible uh, when it comes to your putt. All right, the last thing um, that I see Kevin Jones do that others maybe don't do as much. Other people maybe give it a floaty bid or um, try to, when they miss, um, keep it kind of close. I think Paul Uliberry has a, a video actually of when you miss, you should still end up close. That's great advice, all right, but, but, if you can absolutely 100% commit to that shot, you're probably gonna hit something, okay? And as long as there's no risk of a roll away or anything like that, you might as well just full send it into the basket, all right? Now, not out of control 100 miles per hour, but not zero miles per hour either. You need to commit to this putt because it is, it is almost a throw as you are outside that circle lunging forward. All right, I'm gonna put you guys in a better position to see the basket and me putting, uh, but I have my discs here, I have 12 of them. Um, I'm going to apply all those things, a wide stance, uh, getting low, exploding out, extending my arm, committing to the putt, and we're gonna see how many of these jump putts I can actually make. All right guys, there you have it. I made seven, the ones in the basket there. These five that I missed were all within 10 feet of the basket, so easy tap-ins. Um, so it's always worth going for the jump putt, in my opinion, as long as you're right around circle's edge. All right, that said, I'm gonna back it up to midway into the street. We're gonna see if I can make any from way back there. Let's give it a try. All right, guys, so I made two out of 12 shots from the middle of the street. That's about 45 feet away. Hey, I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. Um, I also would appreciate uh, your subscription to this channel. You can do that right here. 
Also, if you liked what you saw today, uh, you can watch a couple more fun videos up here and we will see you in the next one.